Jimmy, 5-3 down after a, a pretty tough day. How would you summarise the position you find yourself in now? Oh, I'd summarise our position and we've still got a great shot at winning. You know, I mean, today we came in all square. You know, we, I thought we did a few things quite well. We got off the line well. We got the first cross twice. And we obviously, there was a few things in the first race we would have, you know, liked to have done a bit different. The second race, I mean, look, it was just one of those races where both boats had, you know, some tough moments and we saw huge lead changes. I mean, just minutes ahead, one and then the other. So it was just a bit of a dynamic situation. And look, we'll still go through that race and try and learn as much as we can because tomorrow is actually looking quite light. Just give us an overview, really, without without the detail, really, of your five your five three down. Tomorrow could potentially be the last day in this cup. It's quite a moment. Yeah, I mean the overview is we're in this. We can win races. All we need to focus on tomorrow is going out and winning the first one, and then we'll take it from there. It's it's been a difficult day. I mean, Jimmy, we. We know that you've got a fast boat. We also, we've seen you deliver the impossible before, but how confident are you that this team has what it takes to bounce back? I'm confident this team can do it. I mean, we've come through the round robin series the hard way. I mean, everyone pretty much wrote us off on the Prada Cup and came through and we only dropped one race from the semis on. Everyone was talking up the Kiwis, talking about a whitewash and, you know, it was going to be seven nil. So, yeah, you'd, if, you, if you ask a whole lot of people out here, they may have a different answer to me, but my answer is I take confidence in my teammates. Everyone at Team Luna Rossa believes we can win this and we'll certainly be going out tomorrow with the gloves off and ready to fight. Just give us a feeling, really, of the mood in the camp and, and how much the belief is still there. Oh, the mood's upbeat. You know, there's no-one with their heads down, you know, walking around. Everyone is just kind of just hungry and enthusiastic and they just want to fight you know they just want to get out there tomorrow and get a win on the board and bounce back and we've shown we can do that and i've got no doubt we can do it pete a real roller coaster of a day but i think it was the first time that we've seen you smile in this series how much confidence has today given the team yeah i think you know today was a pretty tricky day um you know, we felt like we kind of executed our plan pretty well in the starts, but didn't quite swing our way in the final details. But I think they were close enough that it really meant that the race wasn't over. So to be able to fight back and get a pass in that first one. And then in the second one, obviously, it was very close and we fell off our foils and gave them a huge jump. You know, and, you know we were just trying to get back foiling again and give ourselves an opportunity if they made a mistake. And we were definitely, you know, pretty lucky that they made a mistake in that last one. But, you know, you take what you can get in these kind of events. It felt like today it was all like really starting to come together. I mean, even in the toughest moments. Pete, I mean, how much does it feel like that from the inside, that, that you now have momentum? Uh, well, we feel like we're learning and improving the whole time. You know, whether we win or lose the race, we feel like every race we come out with, you know, five or six things that are massive learnings from, from the race. Um, you know, this is, we've got an amazing group in there that's going over every inch of our boat, looking for little details to improve it, every inch of you know, how we're sailing it, you know, the amount of data that comes off the boat every day you sail. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to see where you've made little mistakes and where you can improve and where you can get better. And you know, We're definitely far from the pointy end of, of where these boats will, will get. So you know, we're just really concentrating on keeping our learning curve as steep as we can. And you know, we know we've got to win a last race to, to win the America's Cup, and that's what we're here to do. I said this this morning at the, at the beginning of the broadcast that you were a team of steely focus. You know, how would you describe the mentality of the team? You know, give us an insight into, into the culture and what everyone's feeling at this moment. Well, I think there's definitely a lot of excitement, um, but mainly just because, you yeah, know, look at the opportunity we've got. You know, it's uh, amazing to be actually racing on home waters, you know, in front of an amazing fans and some pretty amazing boats. Um, but... Yeah, for us, it's really just taking, you know, one step at a time, trying to improve as quickly as we can. We know Luna Ross has been sailing really well, so we've got to sail well ourselves to, to try and win more races. 
Francesco, you mentioned just now in the press conference that the boat was not at 100% in that first race, that, that you will be faster tomorrow. What problems have you been experiencing? Um, not so much uh, problems. I think uh, we could have had a smaller jib probably on the first race. I think, I think uh, that uh, the decision at that moment uh, uh, was correct. Um, when we sailed on the start and on the first upwind, I think uh, the jib was the correct one. We were right in between the crossover. But uh, the rest of the race uh, was a little windier and uh, maybe we can uh, we can improve there and there are many things many many areas where i'm sure the coaches are going to tell us oh you could you could gain a cup you can gain a couple of uh, uh, percentages and uh, on your vmg and uh, like every day every day we are improving so i think uh, yeah this uh, is still a positive uh, uh, vibe in the team and uh, we have to use it just summarize for me how tough a day it was for you and the team well it was it was a tough day for sure uh, uh, to digest uh, especially the second race uh, is is hard but there is no time to think about uh, what happened uh, um, score wise we have to look at the mistakes we just have to look deep into the mistakes we did uh, and uh, trying to improve for the next day there is really no time to for anything else the Kiwis are now in a position that they could finish this off in a day. I mean, how much do you believe that Luna Rossa is still in the game? Uh, I believe it a lot. I, I'm 100% I'm sure that we are still in the game. If there is one thing I learned from uh, Jimmy Spitil is a fight until the end. And uh, I learned that and definitely I don't need to teach him. Talk to me about your team, the whole team, and how it's responding to this I mean, critical time. I tell you, it was a fantastic uh, atmosphere in the team, in the shed that when I, we came back. Everybody had the fire in the, in the eyes and uh, we, 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 we don't have to change anything of what we have been doing on the debriefing and the learning. I think so far this team has been working very well and we have to keep doing the same. The Kiwis, I mean, shocked the world in that first race with their impressive pace. How catchable do you believe the Kiwi team is? Uh, they are catchable. We, otherwise, we, were, we, 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 didn't, we couldn't win any race. Um, I think we have, we have the possibility to beat them. Uh, we proved it. Um, we could have easily won the second race. Uh, we, we made a couple of uh, basic mistakes on that tack. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, um, I think they are beatable and uh, we will prove it. You've been racing at this level a long time. Just for you personally, Francesco, you know, how tough a day is this and how big a moment is it going forward? Well, it's uh, definitely not the best day of my life, uh, but... Um, it's uh, it's it's fine. I mean, I, I have a great team behind me, and uh, the whole uh, pushing uh, on the same direction. So I could not be any happier, really. Blair, congratulations today. It was it was an epic watch. Never mind a sale. I mean, put into context how important today's results are for the team. Yeah, thank you very much. We're uh, really proud with uh, the performance and and the results, especially. Uh, it was a it was a big day for us, and especially the second race, the way it, it developed and the breeze dropped uh, so much more than what we had sort of as we pulled up the jib. Uh, we knew it was going to be a big one, and uh, we sailed nicely in the first beat, given where we were on the off the start. Uh, we're right in there at the top mark, started making gains, and then obviously there was that critical error we made there. But you bounce back, and you always know if you can, you fall off, there might be a chance that they do, and they did it, and we didn't uh, didn't sort of look back. I and mean, in race two, at one point, you were two kilometres behind the opponent. You stuck in there. I mean, it would have been pretty easy to start thinking it was done and you know, turning your attention towards the next day. I mean, what is it about this team that converted that into a victory? Well, we never give up. You always just got to play what's in front of you and do the, the best you can. So when we fell off the foils, we were, we were obviously gutted. Uh, but quickly you just concentrate on what you've got ahead, looking for the pressure to take back off in. 
and we did that and then just tried to get around the racetrack as quick as we can. Once we got ahead again, then we're sort of a little bit more into, um, I guess, just making sure we stay on the foils at that stage. Uh, so you'll see in our tracks are a little bit wider than what they might normally be, but we're sort of, you know, just trying to give ourselves the best opportunity we could in the manoeuvres and you know, we're comfortable with how the boat's going and those stuff. We put a lot of work into it to keep the boat uh, sort of going through the manoeuvres and the real bottom end and uh, I think we proved that the boat's uh, going well on that stuff. We saw more emotion at the end of race two than we've ever seen before uh, coming off your boat. I mean, how big a relief was it to break the deadlock? Describe the emotion on board and how important it was to do that. Yeah, it was an absolute huge moment, I think. Uh, you know, we've still got two to go, but to to turn that around like we did was massive for the team. Uh, I think some of the emotion from the grinding boys might have been just how tired they were. That was a, that was a big one for them, the deepest they've gone for sure. So uh, it takes a huge effort to get the boat around the racetrack like that and uh, really proud of the whole group. But pretty quickly we come back in here and regroup and try and learn as much as we can and, and sort of look forward to tomorrow and, and the next two races in front of us.